Hi there! Today I have the honor to present my song A Loner, which is written and recorded by me, me, and me, hence the title. And when we are done with the song, I'm gonna share some advice with you that has helped me getting started with my singing, so that maybe it will be helpful for you if you want to create similar songs. Are you ready? Let's hit the play button! Thank you for watching and listening. Um, I think it was maybe three or four years ago I decided to get serious about singing uh, and I don't feel comfortable at all with my singing technique yet. Uh, but I've got some requests, people you know, asking me how I approach practicing singing and stuff like that. So that's why I'm, uh, I thought I would say a few words, a few words about it. Uh, but before I begin, I want to make sure that you fully understand that I don't take any responsibility of the things I'm teaching you in this video. So do it at your own risk. And the reason for that is because I've, you know, I've never sat down and you know, studied how to, how to learn to sing. As opposed to with a guitar where I've been reading you know, tons of books and stuff like that. But uh, with singing, I'm, uh, I've just done what felt right for my uh, throat and my uh, huge tummy. <laughs> So that's what we're going to do today. Uh, 
So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to sing a live portion of the A Loner song and I'm going to do it in this noisy room so it's going to sound a little goofy with the, you know, the microphone of the camera, etc. Uh, well, that's it. Are you ready? No, I'm not, I'm not ready. <laughs> I have been down a seat in your pride That makes the pain stay the same Only shall be used Don't settle for the least Open your eyes One was meant to be Okay, so in this song, I guess we could say that I'm basically using two main kind of voices. One is the, the low voice, where I'm attempting to sing as clean, clean as possible. I have planned that voice. And then we have a higher voice, which is a... <coughs> um, and the, the lower voice uh, is... Um, well, basically, to get the feel, you should get up real early in the morning and try to sing something low. And I think it will sound something like that. Uh, what I'm doing is, um, I'm sort of aiming my chin uh, like this, close to the throat, instead of, you know, up, going up in the air. Uh, so, and, and that is to achieve some, this kind of tent. I want to achieve this kind of tonality. I have planned instead of, I have planned I have. So I'm sort of, in a way, you know, closing the throat a little bit. Uh, to get the, I have planted a seed in your brain. And I... I'm not sure, but I think that might be the same voice as Axl Rose is using in his I'll see your sister in a Sunday dress. <clears throat> so that's it for the lower voice. And, and then I have a, you know, I use the higher voice, uh, which is uh, <clears throat> uh, used during, mostly during the choruses. And, uh, <clears throat> and to practice that, uh, what I did when I started out was that I, I uh, tried to get the high notes with a falsetto voice. And uh, so instead of saying, <coughs> sorry, instead of saying that, I tried to sing with a falsetto. Um, and that helped me sort of understand what pitch I needed to reach. And then when I mastered that, I tried to work on, you know, getting the, a more rock and roll kind of tone out of the voice. So going from the and adding some diaphragm and stomach to it would be and, and, um, that would be my suggested way for you to do it um, as well. Now I want to add for, for both of these kind of voices uh, what I try to do is to um, I, always learn how to you know get the pitch right and don't care too much about how it's you know how the actual voice sounds whether it sounds gutsy and rock and roll or whether it sounds like you're a little schoolgirl. Uh, instead just try to get the right pitch and when you're done with that then you have some control you can try to work more on the sound um, and I also believe that the actual pitch practicing can be made using you know a very poor vocal technique because it's just a matter of you know finding the right spot whereas you're gonna need a little more of a is advanced technique to you know get some tone out of it so let me illustrate that um, to, to, to get the, the rock and roll kind of sound out of uh, I'm, I'm adding some uh, volume so and, and that gives a very different kind of tone. Um, also, what I'm doing for, for some kind of for diff, different kind of you know throaty or hoarse voice, uh, I'm sort of I think what I'm doing is kind of locking the airflow with the the vocal cord. So instead of saying I'm saying and that isn't necessarily a higher volume. I'm just making more of a scream time of voice and that kind of voice is uh, can be very hard on your throat so be careful with it uh, 
if you if you wanna if you were to sing a gig or you know really sing for a long time i think you would rather go for the high volume kind of thing where you're getting the throaty and and the a hoarse sound out of your diaphragm and not out of your throat because that can get very tiring <clears throat> but i think that many rock songs what they do is they use a combination because you can use these kind of two in in different ways and, and they suit one might suit in one situation and one in the other so okay so that's it for today i hope i was able to teach you something <laughs>